Hemorrhoids. Today we're going to talk about how they happen and how we can possibly prevent ourselves from getting those hemorrhoids. Now, the first one, you see, uh, this is a very, very neat diagram of uh, the intestines. These are the small intestines. This is the large intestines of the, of aka the colon. Now, you can see here, this is the anal opening, which is this one here. And we have the, our gluteus. This is the gluteus. Now, uh, around this area, we have so many blood vessels, the veins. There they are so many there. Now, uh, what will happen is we have actually three types of hemorrhoids. We have one, two, three. Now, the first one is the internal hemorrhoids. Internal. We have the external, of course. And then we have the prolapsed. Now, the first type, what happens here is you have blood vessels, like we said. There are so many here. There are so many of them. But along the internal lining here, you start forming sacs filled with blood. So, these are the, the veins that you are talking about. They kind of become enlarged and uh, they, they are full of blood. So, blood is there. They form sacs-like uh, structures inside the anus. So they will be just inside there. Now, the second type will now, you see, that's what, that was the internal. Let's say uh, the muscles are here that closes and uh, opens our anal cavity. Uh, and then uh, we have the external part here. Now, what will happen here will be the vessels around this area will kind of bulge and uh, become larger. They are filled with blood. So you're going to have sac-like features outside here that are full of blood. So those are vessels which are already dilated. They are full of blood and they form those structures outside here. Now for the third one, uh, the prolapsed, you might find that uh, the combination of the first one and the second one. So you might find the, the internal structure here hanging outside here. So you're going to find those structures kind of almost hanging out. Now, what usually make uh, this happen it, the cause is not actually known, but we have factors that we can contribute to getting this. First one is constipation. When you force your stool out, it will strain the vessels around that area, leading to them being prolapsed. And that they will be filled with blood and they will just stay there. So one, constipation or forcing out the stool, sitting for long periods of time in the washroom, that, that can still contribute or lifting heavy weights. So if you strain this area here, you are definitely going to increase your chances of getting those hemorrhoids. Now, that's how you, you get them. How do you prevent them? Just the opposite. If, for example, you have constipation, make sure you don't have that, uh, you treat this condition first. If, for example, the food that you, you, you are taking is less in fiber, increase your fiber intake, increase the amount of water that you take in. Also, make sure that um, in case maybe you still have that constipation, uh, take laxatives. They are going to soften your bowel and uh, also increase the movement of the bowel and it's going to pass through. Now, hemorrhoids they don't actually require so much treatment. They might as well disappear on their own. So you don't need to actually do much about them. You just let them be, they will just disappear. They are not uncomfortable unless they rupture or they are infected. That's when you're going to feel a pain when you're passing out your, your stool. Now, in case they are painful, you might go, you might need to go to a hospital, get drugs to make sure that you're not getting that infection because uh, prolonged exposure to those bacteria will create something called bacteremia or septicemia and uh, all those. So to prevent that infection, go get antibiotics. So in case they are troublesome, uh, there are several ways that they can be removed. One is surgically, uh, just surgical removal. They are removed by a surgeon or someone who can be able to remove them. Or you can just use um, something like um, rubber bands. They still a health professional will do this. So they are going to, if it was a hemorrhoid, which was hanging around here, so kind of over ligation is done, and uh, the blood supply to that uh, thing is cut off, and it will die on its own. So we have other ways that are uh, popular in removing those hemorrhoids, but if they are not troublesome, they usually disappear on, their, on themselves. 